right. It was just a little impromptu presentation to help the community understand about general physical exercise and how important it is, as well as um, little things that they can do to prevent themselves from from getting worse, um, i.e. Uh, postures, keeping your postures in good position no matter what you're doing, and, um, and uh, just overall general physical health, okay? How was the turnout? Pretty good, I think. You know, I don't know. How many do you think there was in there? About 20? 20? Yeah, 20 more than 20, yeah, 25, good. something like that. And it's not the first time you've done this. Well, we did it a few months back at the Nugget, but we had a very poor turnout that day. But, you know, this was much better. I see. And as I mentioned, the First Move Fitness is the venue. And, uh, Tony, you spoke about uh, dementia. Yes, I did. Well, I went over uh, the causes of dementia, which are multiple, uh, and how mental activity and keeping mentally fit as well as physically fit is absolutely utmost importance for helping your mind stay active. Uh, people and eating right, just the things that help preserve your mind. Physical activity and mental activity go hand in hand together. And really, if you don't use it, you do lose it. I see. Something I wasn't aware of, there are dozens upon dozens of uh, different types of dementia. Yes, and some are reversible that I work with, and some aren't. Uh, reversible would be after surgery, anesthetic. Uh, it, I go in and uh, the people uh, have memory lapses uh, for post-hip and shoulder sh surgeries or back, and I go in and within uh, four weeks to maybe six, we get them going again because they the because as we age, we can't take that anesthetic as much as we used to in our twenties, of course. In a nutshell, what's the difference between uh, dementia and Alzheimer's? Well, that's an emotionally charged question. Um, Alzheimer's progresses faster than uh, dementia, and Alzheimer's you lose absolutely every one of your five senses. Dementia, you can stay stuck in the stages. I, I go by three stages. And Alzheimer's can be detected only so far by a medical doctor and through a spinal tap or an autopsy on the brain. And uh, Charmaine, uh, you brought along some materials. Uh, can you tell us what you spoke about? Um, those are all adaptive devices that we provide to our people. Um, like, for example, if they're having a hard time feeding themselves, so we adapt the spoons and forks to, to their needs. And like putting up uh, clothes, we have something for that also. So those, those are just the adaptive devices that we use.